we want to acknowledge our supportive participants. We have more than 159 Zoom participants and around 50 in-person attendees. And of course, at this point, we would like to thank the donors of our tokens for this morning. Brown Rice Naughty Fruit Bar and Enhanced Nutribon from Nutridense Food Manufacturing Corporation. Enhanced Nutribon Squash Variant from CBO Food Sphere. Des Calendar from Robinson Supermarket. And uh, each bag of token contains this product together with Pansit Canton with squash from Sand Valley Cooperative and the USC FRI Menu Guide Calendar. And of course, it is my honor to recognize our distinguished guests this morning. Kasama po natin, of course, walang iba, Honorable the USC Secretary Fortunato D. De La Pena. DOSC Undersecretary for R&D, Dr. Ruena Cristina L. Guevara. Good morning, ma'am. And kasama rin po natin, uh, Dr. Chodoro M. Gatchalian, DOSC Assistant Secretary for Administration and Legal Affairs. Dr. Imelda Angeles Agdepa, DOSC FNRI, Director for and Scientist 2. Dr. Anthony P. Calibo, DOSC FNRI Deputy Director. Dr. Mario V. Capanzana, former DOSC FNRI Director. ASEC Azucena Dayan Hirang, DOH Assistant Secretary and National Nutrition Council Executive Director. And we have Mr. Rocky Doctor, President, Nutridense Food Manufacturing Corporation. Ms. Divine Doctor, Manager, Nutridense Food Manufacturing Corporation. Mr. George D. Aguilar, the owner of Nutrition and Beyond Corporation. Ms. Milagros Vilikilaiko, President, Negresa Volunteers for Change Foundation. Attorney April Floor F. Borlegdon, DSWP National Program Manager. Mr. Ron James D. Ortiz from NEGA. Mr. Iris P. Uy from San Miguel. Hi, ma'am. Good morning. Ms. Maria Magdalena A. Perez, also from San Miguel. Ms. Ella V. Vergara, uh, CDO. Hi, ma'am. Mr. Harvard Kazan and Jonathan Uy. Also from CDO. Mr. Paolo Buro, Mesa Nimesis. Hi, good morning. Ms. Uh, Rowena Rea. Good, good morning, ma'am. From Amway. Ms. Uh, Adam Y. Sikat from Nestle. Hi, ma'am. Good morning. Ms. Maria Olivia Y. Misa, also from Nestle. Good morning, ma'am. Kasama rin po natin from DepEd, Ms. Magdalene Porsche Cariaga. Ms. Bailey Viduhi. Ms. Ferdinand, Mr. Ferdinand M. Nunez. And from the Development Bank of the Philippines, Mr. Leopoldo A. Resmundo Jr. Kasama rin po natin mga kaibigan, our partners from media, on-site and Zoom. Unahin ko na muna. Kasama po natin, Mr. Tomasito Habate. Ayan, hi sir, from NEPA. Uh, Cheska Disipulo from DBM. Maniki Quejada from DBM. And um, Rosario, Mom Rosario. Hi na, good morning po. At may mga kasama rin po tayo, gusto namin acknowledge na sa pagkakataong ito, yung ating mga uh, participants sa uh, uh, Zoom na kanina pa rin po nakatutok sa atin sa oras na ito. And ito po yung ilan sa kanila. Miss Aha or Aja Dotanes from Robinson Supermarket. Siya 
Strong Marketing Manager. Maganda araw po. Feline Inudino, The Marketplace. Aileen De Gia from Shopwise. Benjamin Tantiazu, Swiss Pharma. And from White Rude, Marie Sara. Mercury Drug Foundation, Adet A. Dizan. From DSWP, sila po si na Mary Grace G. Flores, Maria Karina Regalado, and Virginia J. Castro. Maganda araw po sa inyo. From WFP and former USC FNRI Director, Dr. Corazon Barba. Hi ma, good morning. And Misa ni, Mesa ni Mrs. Juana Yupanco, good morning. Villa Margarita Catering Services, Ms. Mary Ann Montemayor, and from White Roofs uh, Advisor Singapore, Diane Febriani. Magandang magandang araw po sa ating lahat. And syempre talagang we are grateful to all of you for coming today, this morning, despite of your hectic schedule and of course at traffic, hindi na po natin maikiwasan. Maraming maraming salamat po sa pagdando ninyo sa araw na ito. And since the onset of the pandemic, the DOST FNRI together with its partner agencies and organizations doubled, tripled its effort to combat malnutrition. And to provide more information in today's events initiatives, let us hear the welcome message from the DOST FNRI Director 4 and Scientist 2, Dr. Imelda Angeles Agdepa. Let us give Director Agdepa a round of applause. Begins with one step. Nothing can be more significant than the first step. Hence, we need to start and have our first step. Strong and finish strong by 2022. My dear friends, Honorable Secretary Fortunato T. De La Peña, Salamat sir. Late in the evening, I actually talked to you. Salamat po sir. Sana po pagbabig. Sinabi ko na salamat. Pagbigyan nyo naman po kami ngayon. Kasi po, nalaman ko late in the afternoon yesterday na meron po nga, hindi po makakadalo po ang aming secretary dahil may important event din po. So ang sabi ko, sana po, kahit ngayon lang po, ay uh, mapagbigyan niya po kami kasi po ito po ay napaka-important event para sa amin. So salamat po, Sek Boy. We call him Sek Boy. Of course, to ever supporting uh, Undersecretary for Research and Development, Yosef Cristina Ruena de Parra. Salamat po. Palagi po siyang nandiyan at sumusuporta sa aming mga teknolohiya at, sa, at uh, alam ko po na papabilid din namin sa aming mga nutritious products. And of course, uh, I cannot give more word on how to describe my thanks to our Honorable Cabsec Nograles who have been with us all through the years when he was still the IATF Zero Hunger Task Force whom we really have cried on whenever we have problems on our technology transfer who would like to adopt the different technologies. Kahit po siya, hindi na po siya ngayon yung CABSEC. Maraming maraming salamat CABSEC. Sana po naririnig mo kami ngayon. Uh, to ASEC Dayagbira, I'd like to say my special thanks to you. Dr. Asik Dayan Hira, the director, executive director of the National Nutrition Council, who has actually supported us by actually trying to patronize our nutritious products in the different communities where they have adapted to implement the different programs. Maraming maraming salamat, ma'am. Ang palagi kong sinasabi sa aming mga kapwa ka staff sa FNRI, Kung wala po, kahit na may teknolohiya tayo, kung hindi po ito nagagamit ng ating mga end users, this is a dead investment. That's why we keep on saying, and it is our motto at Heaven and I, we have to bring those foods in every home of the Filipino people. And we can just do this by, 
of course, all your support who are here today. So good morning. I cannot say also much thanks to the DRC FNR Imancom who have actually given their full support in all the activities that we have at FNRI. I will not mention all those uh, uh, Mancom, alam nyo na po kung sino-sino po kayo. And of course, to Dr. Kalibong, who always are, is always assisting me in terms of the different, you know, activities of FNRI. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo. And lastly, but not the least, kayo po na nandito po, my dear friends, my dear colleagues, and my dear, for our dear partners, salamat po sa inyong pandalo, sa aming paanyaya po, para po sumuporta sa event na ito. Alam po namin, kagaya po ng sinabi ng ating uh, MC Seal, Ma'am Jill, marami po sa atin ay may maraming maraming trabaho po. Pero pinagbigyan niyo po kami at sa mere presence po ninyo dito, it's already an indication na talagang kayo po ay you are with us. Salamat po sa ating mga DBM partners, Ma'am Leia, Cheska, and Nikki. Salamat po sa inyo at palagi po kami <laughs> customer po ninyo sa telepono, lalong lalo na si Naomi na palagi mong nagkukulit kung kami po ay nawawalan na ng bondo dahil po sa aming National Nutrition Survey na talaga po uh, very laborious at saka kinakailangan po ng maraming bondo. So, hindi po ako magtatagal na sa palama sa maraming pasasalamat. Alam po ninyo na kami po ay talaga po nagpapasalamat sa inyong lahat. So, I would like to uh, take this opportunity to really express my our heartfelt um, gratitude to everyone in responding to our invitation to be part with this extraordinary year starter celebration. Ilang meses po ito na postpone. We call this year ender last year because uh, we plan to have it December. Year starter because we planned it to be January. Unfortunately, may lockdown na naman. So ngayon po, year starter pa rin. Dahil na sa first quarter pa rin tayo <laughs> So, maraming salamat po. Uh, the event um, actually sets one side in gaining the commitment of our leaders and stakeholders from various key sectors and institutions to reinforce and recalibrate our efforts for the continuation and sustainability of one of our banner program and this is actually the Malnutrition Reduction Program, or what we call MRP. This, is, uh, this event is dubbed as Alay Mo Kinabukasan Ko. Of course, uh, this um, is actually solidifying thresholds of the intersectoral support against malnutrition. Today, we would like to share the com and commemorate with you our Institute's milestone for 2021 and our roadmap from 2022 to 2040, focusing on three mega clusters. I think the mega clusters that we have selected really needs your support. Addressing the poor, the underprivileged, who are really the marginalized, adults and children with unhealthy lifestyle, and the aging population. We call this the mega sectors of FNRI. To highlight some of the major achievements of the Institute in 2021, our study on the benefits of virgin coconut oil or the VCO in terms of alleviating signs and symptoms of COVID-19 is thus preventing the progression or severity of the disease in the first ever published study of VCO against COVID-19. Our most popular enhanced Nutriban actually pioneered by our very own uh, previous uh, director of the Department of uh, Food and Nutrition Research Institute, Dr. Kapansana, is actually very popular nowadays. 
We have actually launched two variants in 2021, the carrot and the sweet potato variants, and it has gained several adapters all over the country because this is used by DepEd, DSWT, MNNC as dietary supplements. These bonds are considered as nutri nutrient dips and sufficient to cover at least 30% of the child's recommendations for a day of the different nutrients. To date, we have already five variants to choose from. Why? It's just because we like to address the taste fatigue of our school kids and our preschool age children. The Institute also had a chance to develop other DMSC FNRI technologies such as the multi-nutrient extruded rice kernel, rice mongo curls and carrots, rice mongo blend with carrots, extruded frozen and ready to eat, uh, ready to eat fried uh, sweet potato or kamote rice, and sweet sorghum flour. To date, approximately 285 adapters nationwide adapted and forged agreements with the DOST FNRI for the commercialization of these technologies. This is aligned with our DOST Secretary's mantra, and that is, science is really for the people. We are trying our best to reach every household with different technologies that we have. Now, to ride side by side with the fast paced road to technology, we have the online or virtual dissemination forum on our 2019 expanded national nutrition survey. Now, during the nutrition summit in 2021, we had a lot, I think almost more than 1,000 viewers and listeners of our survey data. And these were actually used in their local planning for the different programs at their own respective municipalities. Data generated, actually, are vital inputs to policy and program models. This became one, if not the cornerstone used by our local and international partners in crafting nutrition and development programs. And we are really very happy to see these kind of policies that are grounded on science. The National Nutrition Survey data was disseminated across the 26 state universities and colleges of Luzon and members of the Council of Heads of Deans in Nutrition and Dietetics last March 2021. And we gained already a very good support on this. Several pitching sessions had accentuated the wealth of the, serve of the nutrition survey data in in-depth analysis of FNRI, which institute is offering to the academy for the research and development, policy recommendations, and of course, extension programs implementation. Our active dissemination of the ENNS results paved the way to various requests from both the national and international collaborators. And we are as far uh, we have reached the top as far as John Hopkins University. Now, the COVID-19 pandemic did not actually forestall the Institute from delivering relevant, timely, and useful R&D and SST outputs and initiatives designed to address various food and nutrition challenges faced by the pandemic and of course to our Filipino, disadvantaged Filipinos. The ARNAS, the Rapid Nutritional Assessment Survey. This is actually the first survey that we did online during the pandemic. And this is actually the results of this Rapid Nutritional Assessment Survey has become actually the basis of so many policies that have actually emanated or policies that have been crafted when we have the pandemic. And only online survey conducted. The agency contributed conducting webinars on food and nutrition, nutrition situation in the country, and possible solutions using the USDFNRI food technologies and series of significant campaigns of staying healthy and practicing food safety during the new normal. You can see in our website, a lot of simple, culturally designed messages 
that can be understood by everyone. Because I always say that we should not actually use technical jargons in our social media. And therefore, my dear friends, to account uh, a total of about 62 webinars were conducted in 2021. And our SM or social media accounts are bombarded with so many likes and pretty comments. Moreover, hard works gain recognition and appreciation, and we are truly blessed and grateful as the Institute guarded several awards and recognition. And these are as follows. Allow me to grab a little bit, no? Awarded level two in our ethics committee. 2021 Alberto Romades Outstanding Health Award on our MRP. Outright issue once of ISO 901-2015 on quality management system recertification last March 2021. And of course, we have our Nutritional Genomics Laboratory awarded as actually the ISO IEC 1725-2017. And um, Level 3, Research Ethics Committee, and of course, our PQS. PQA, our commitment to serve and to be part of the daily lives of our Filipino people by bringing proper nutrition in every Filipino household further fuels to pursue us our efforts with more dedication and vigor in our R&D and NSTD programs and projects. Our plans and directions for 2022 as guided by our, own, our very own USEC uh, Guevara Concerns among the identified priority mega sectors in response to the high prevalence of stunting and micronutrient deficiencies, we at FNRI crafted the malnutrition reduction program, a science-based nutrition intervention strategy to help address the high prevalence of malnutrition, especially undernutrition. The MRP has provided and established an effective science-based model for nutrition interventions that mobilizes and involves the commitment of various sectors. Thus, this paved the way to receive recognitions and awards. I am humbled to announce that this is actually a winner of one of the winners of the outstanding research by PCHRD and of course from the Foundation for the Advancement of International Medical and Educational Research during the Network Towards Unity for Health World Summit that is actually done in Tunisia. Now it is also included in our National Economic and Development Authority National Priority Program. Kaya maganda po po kayo po ay susuporta sa MRP kasi kasama po ito sa NPP or the National Priority Program of NEDA from 2015 to 2021. Donations to the program included in the NEDA's NPP are in, actually entitled to full tax deduction. I will repeat. Donations to programs include donations to the program, we need to say the MRP, included in the NEDA's NPP are entitled to full tax deduction as incentive. Sa likod po ng mga karangalan na tanggap at suporta ng mga partners natin sa MRP, patuloy po na bumubuti ang kalagayan ng ating nutsyon, lalo-lalo na sa ating mga kabataan. Subalit, sa gabila po ng mga malalayong narating ng aming proyekto na MRP, sa paglipas ng panahon, kami po ay muling kumakatok sa inyong mga puso upang humingi ng suporta sa ating mga partners upang patuloy na subuin ang problema ng malnutrition sa mga batang Pinoy upang mabigyan sila ng pagkakataon na mamuhay ng malusog, kapakipakinabang at makaroon ng masayang buhay. Ang tanong ko po sa inyong lahat po na nandito po sa loob, ano po kaya ang maari nating ialay para sa laba, para labanan ang ating problema ng malnutrition. Ang dahilan po ng ating pagtitipon sa araw na po na ito ay upang magkaisa tayo sa pagsubo ng malnutrition sa ating kabataan. Alam po namin, 
ang mga negative consequences ng malnutrition sa mental, physical, and social life which may result to the country's economic turmoil because of the loss of productivity and sharp brains among our children. Kami po sa DUST, FNRI, sa pamumunod po ng aming Secretary at sa kay Jose, na nandito kayo, nandito ngayon na sumusuporta sa programa ito, ay humihingi ng tulong sa inyong lahat to be part and be one with us in the fight against malnutrition. We only have one goal inside this room, and that goal is actually to improve the lives of our Filipino children, who actually is the future builders of the country. With this, maraming maraming salamat po sa ating lahat, at magandang umaga po. Thank you so much. And over to you. Warmest greetings to uh, everyone. Thank you for uh, coming here uh, in person. And uh, I just would like to uh, uh, greet uh, maybe not the people, but the institutions uh, who are here, uh, other than our uh, uh, partners in the Malnutrition Reduction Program. Uh, there are government agencies that I would like to give special mention. Uh, two, we have, uh, of course, the National Nutrition Council, our major partner. We are a member of the National Nutrition Council. Uh, we have, uh, of course, uh, uh, NEDA. And the very reason why we are gathering here is really to uh, campaign for uh, uh, enlistment. For enlistment under the uh, NEDA MPP. Uh, which was described by Dr. Mel uh, Agrepa. This is the program which uh, is the priority programs of the government that can be entitled to some tax uh, incentives. And uh, of course, uh, two important partners when we do uh, uh, feeding, uh, DEPED and DSWD and the local government uh, units. And uh, let me not uh, forget that uh, we also depend on uh, uh, budgetary allocations coming from uh, DBM. And uh, I would also like to uh, greet, hindi na yung mga kasama ko sa DOST at FNRI, kung hindi isang special group of people, maybe some of them are here, I know some of them are here, you know, I uh, was fortunate to have uh, seen FNRI operating since 1982 when I started to be involved with the OST as the planning uh, chief of the OST way back in 1982. And uh, so I saw, because I was uh, going back and forth from UP to the OST, UP to the OST, and that happened five times. <laughs> and so I have seen the good succession of uh, excellent leaders of FNRI. I think that's one of the reasons why we have a very strong FNRI. But let's talk about it. And I Dr. Jose Pina, Ulata Jaime, Dr. Rodolfo Florentino, Dr. Corazon Barba, Dr. Mario Pansana, and here is Dr. Mel Agdepa. Now, uh, uh, Maybe I just want to clarify, I got a lot of miscommunication with Dr. Mel Agnepa. Uh, the reason why yesterday uh, a message was sent to her that I cannot come, it is not because of a conflict of schedule. <laughs> it was because I was required by my daughter to take the COVID test after three days of fever. And so I awaited for the uh, results of the COVID test. It came at 12 midnight, okay? And I text her almost the same time to say, I'm very happy, thankful to God that I, uh, I was RT negative, RT PCR negative. So I will join you today. So he did put down some Pero it is also a warning to all of us. Kasi I just came from a regional visit and uh, uh, my uh, daughter, was telling me, I saw your pictures on the 
this room and your, your mask is only below the nose. <laughs> so please take care and that's why she insisted that I take the COVID uh, uh, test. Okay, now why am I using a cane? It's not because of the COVID or anything. But it's because it's my first time to ride an airplane after two years. It was a very small plane. My knee cannot uh, move in this seat. And uh, because it was a small plane, the flight from Manila to Cabo de Oro instead of one hour, it was almost two hours. And so when I get off the plane, ano na, masakit na masakit na yung aking knee. It was, the, it was not the right knee, which was already operated five years ago. It was the other knee. So sabi ko, ayaw mo na magpatingin, baka operak na naman ako. But anyway, uh, tama na yung, enough of that story. I just would like to uh, um, share with you how we have uh, uh, done our prioritization programs at the DOST. Siyempre, when we started in 2016, we started with the uh, ten-point agenda of the President and uh, we uh, chose the items in the ten-point agenda where we think science and technology can contribute significantly. There were four areas. It is in the area of uh, uh, competitiveness, in um, value chain improvement and value adding, in the area of uh, uh, world-class uh, workforce, and the area of science, technology and promotion. Uh, of the arts, science, technology, and the, and the arts. Um, uh, of course, uh, the areas uh, where FNRI is included is already in the R&D portion, wherein we have, uh, uh, on our part, uh, we also have an 11-point DOSD agenda where uh, the R&D actually uh, takes uh, five of the 11 items in the agenda because we categorize the different kinds of R&D that we will prioritize. So, merong uh, uh, those that uh, will really uh, make, uh, address uh, pressing national problems and doon pumapasok ang research on FNRI, pressing national problems. There is a category in terms of improving the productivity of our different sectors. There is a category on catching up in the emerging technologies. There is a category in uh, 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 addressing the, the needs of our communities, etc. And also the commercialization of R&D. Uh, so in that area where uh, uh, we can uh, um, make interventions, uh, we have uh, instituted uh, programs that uh, are now seeing you know, uh, the benefits. You know? uh, like, uh, number one, we have a program called Science for Change program. And it has many components. One of them was uh, helping setting up uh, needs research centers in the regions. And uh, if you will look at them, many of them are actually, well, there are now 42 of them. and. Uh, Maybe half of them is in the area of agriculture, aquaculture, and food, okay? And uh, the, the aspect of food is very important because as we, keep, we can see now, food security is a very, very important uh, concern. And if you look at the different need centers that we have set up, actually this is in the different universities and uh, uh, research and development institutions in the country, those that are uh, now operating, okay? Uh, focusing on specific food items can, can really be dependent upon. Mamaya siguro babagit in Yusek Ibarra na some of these research centers are now being uh, activated uh, uh, jointly not only by, by DOST but the other departments because of our uh, need for substitutes for, for wheat flour. Okay? And uh, we also have a, uh, well, of course, there are other components of Science for Change program, including uh, the uh, collaboration between the industry and the, uh, and the uh, higher educational institutions. Now, uh, uh, we also have a program that is uh, specifically addressing our uh, so-called marginalized communities. And uh, we have a uh, listing, uh, we leave them from some official document, what is the meaning of marginalized here. And uh, it includes uh, several groups, you know. It includes indigenous peoples, it includes uh, uh, very poor communities, uh, uh, to mataas ang poverty level, it includes uh, 
geographically isolated and disadvantaged uh, areas. It includes uh, special sectors like persons with disabilities, uh, uh, like uh, senior uh, citizens, etc. And uh, uh, here, uh, actually, this program was initiated by uh, my predecessor, Secretary Mario Montejo. And we continued it and expanded it. And it has a very good uh, uh, guideline on uh, how to introduce uh, uh, science and technology to communities to empower them. And the very first one, well, the very first one is uh, water. Okay? They, they need uh, uh, clean water because many of these communities do not need clean water uh, for uh, uh, domestic uh, consumption. The second one, is to address the malnutrition uh, program. Practically all of the SES communities when we come in has a very high degree of malnutrition. And uh, uh, maybe, uh, it has not been mentioned, I will mention it, that uh, uh, when we introduce okay, a nutrition program in this uh, area as one of the interventions uh, within the completion of uh, the engagement of the community empowerment through science and technology, we have seen the market in the level of nutrition of uh, the children in that area. Uh, we come in also in the area of education. Uh, well, we do not teach them uh, directly, but uh, we make available uh, uh, materials through new technology. Uh, so we have an institute called the Science and Technology Information Institute that uh, uh, shares with them okay, the benefits of uh, a developed uh, technology, uh, star books, which uh, actually can uh, uh, be accessed by them even without uh, uh, internet in the area. Uh, they, they can actually have uh, access to more than 150,000 uh, e-books you know, that are found there. So the children can really benefit. We also have, of course, a component on livelihood because this cannot be sustainable after we leave the project in two to three years, okay, uh, they have to continue it on their own and the livelihood component is important. And the last intervention is uh, uh, the one on, on protecting the environment and uh, uh, on protecting themselves from disasters through disaster risk reduction and management. So, as we can see, uh, uh, the Community Empowerment through Science and Technology program actually uh, benefits from the uh, malnutrition reduction program of uh, uh, FNRI. There are other uh, uh, programs that we have, like the ones that are uh, uh, for uh, small and medium enterprises, upgrading uh, their technology. We have, of course, our program on human resource development through scholarships at all levels, and uh, we have also the disaster risk reduction programs. Uh, now, uh, FNRI itself. Uh, aside from those projects at the region, have their own uh, uh, malnutrition reduction program, and that's the reason why we are gathered here. Because uh, uh, number one, the statistics that uh, are shown by uh, the National Nutrition Survey, now called the E uh, N N S, uh, was uh, well reveals that uh, even if we have all these programs, we still have one out of five children in the age bracket below two years old that are stunted due to poor nutrition. And this is what we are addressing. Now, uh, uh, FNRI has uh, developed through their R&D various products. No? Meron silang uh, product they have programs like the rice mango, the rice mango sesame blends, the iodine and rich drinking water, the iron fortified rice. I have seen them because they have been adopted by our uh, SMEs in the different uh, regions. I am happy that uh, uh, today uh, part of our program will be testimonials. Uh, maybe uh, some uh, uh, live here, uh, some by uh, virtually, but uh, we have a very good lineup. You know? We have uh, NutriDance, represented by Rocky Doctor here. Uh, it's really very impressive to see how this company has uh, grown through the technologies of FNRI and how it has helped our partners because they are using rice and mongo, okay? Yung pala producers ng rice and mongo na natutulungan nila ay napakalaki na, no? Uh, lalo na yung sa mongo, no? And then uh, we have, uh, of course, uh, someone 
Oh my God, what we do it? Let, 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 let me just uh, mention it, but this is not the embarrassed meeting like that. But we have worked uh, many, many decades ago uh, because of introducing our productivity programs in the region. She was still the president of the Association of Negros Producers. Now she has moved on to a bigger arena, the Negros Volunteers uh, Foundation, which is a very uh, shall we say, prominent adapter of our uh, technologies. The last one, I have not met her personally, but I have uh, uh, seen her in her sharing, you know, during your uh, uh, last uh, Inutriban uh, virtual presser, and uh, uh, she, uh, uh, Mrs. Miss, uh, Monte Mayor from Davao, okay? Uh, who, who has a big, 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 uh, big uh, company uh, which adapted the e uh, Nutriban uh, squash uh, variant. So uh, these are being commercialized, and uh, this is really uh, a very good uh, accomplishment on our part if our R&D outputs are commercialized or put to use for public good. In fact, the Nutriban that they have come up with, they don't charge any licensing fee for the technology transfer because this is for public good, okay? Maybe for the other products you are charging, uh, uh, huh? Uh, some, uh, some of the products like iron fortified rice, how about the big talino? Wala rin, wala rin uh, licensing fee doon. But uh, uh, other products which might be for specific sectors uh, might be charged by uh, licensing fees. So when they come out with the technologies that are uh, for rice for diabetics or for rice for kidney patients, ah, wala rin, wala rin licensing fee. Okay. So it's a uh, poor public good karamihan, you know. But it's, it's really very important. And uh, I think, uh, Itong uh, malnutrition reduction program nila, uh, which is uh, targeting a certain specific range, and for which uh, NEDA, and ito yung mga taga-NEDA natin eh, uh, NEDA has also included in the NEDA NPP, even the identification of uh, locations where uh, uh, the, there is a need for this particular program, which you can uh, choose from, no? And sabi nga ni, uh, uh, according to Director Angepa, they have uh, tax incentives like a full tax deduction. Now, uh, let me just uh, mention that uh, the UPI Truman, if I may go back to it, was uh, able to uh, allow, allow us, the DOSD and FRI, to uh, resume the uh, uh, feeding program for school children in particular, uh, or particular since we stopped the uh, face-to-face classes yung mga usual bills na ibigay sa school ay hindi naman pa ibigay yung kanin at ulam, no? uh, uh, rice and, uh, uh, and uh, the other components. So the Inutriban, uh, the uh, DepEd and the SWD and the LGUs uh, welcome that development because uh, they can just deliver this at uh, specific uh, places and uh, uh, they have a certain uh, period where in uh, okay pa ang shelf life, okay? and I hope we can still improve it, okay? Now, uh, finally, I would like to uh, really uh, thank uh, uh, NEDA for their MPP because uh, uh, for several years now, they have included our malnutrition reduction program in their MPP, uh, uh, particularly this National Data Implementation Program uh, of the Philippine Plan of Actions for Nutrition. So let me just uh, say in conclusion, that uh, we are trying to contribute to the achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals. There are several of them, but in particular, uh, in this uh, program of FNRI, we are addressing, of course, uh, uh, SDGs uh, 1 and 2. This is uh, uh, zero hunger and, uh, of course, uh, health and uh, well-being and wellness. And uh, we just want to assure everyone that uh, with the partnership that we will have with you, we will be able to continue our initiatives, our programs, and the DOST commits continued support to FNRI in all its activities. Maraming po salamat.
Maraming salamat po, Secretary Boy. At uh, talaga napakasipag po ng ating uh, mahal na Secretary. Diba? Talagang uh, sa kabila po ng pandemya, tuloy-tuloy po ang ginagawa ng ating mahal na Secretary sa pagpunta. Uh, I mean, may mga restrictions pa rin, pero natutugunan po yung kanyang tungkulin bilang uh, kagawad po ng ating alien. Kaya naman po maraming salamat, Sec Boy, for our always giving us uh, those uh, words of encouragement. Um, indeed, this uh, intersectoral uh, partnership, collaboration, ay malaki po talaga ang ma-offer, uh, I mean, Multiple, multiple solution yung pwede nga uh, maibigay, uh, matugunan doon sa ating mga problema pagdating sa usapin ng food and nutrition. At siguro para sa kaalaman na lang din ng ibang nating mga kasama sa pagkakataon nito, uh, virtually and dito na present sa, sa ating venue, ang FNRI po ay tuloy-tuloy sa kanilang mga pananaliksik, sa kanilang mga pag-aaral para matugunan yung ating mga pangangailangan pagdating nga sa usapin ng food and nutrition. Kahit sa kabila ng pandemya, yung pong kanilang research and development ay talaga pong tuloy-tuloy. Kaya naman po uh, yung mga programa, mga proyekto, mga produkto na nailulunsado ay naipuproduce po ng FNRI, masusi kong pinag-aralan para magkaroon tayo ng dekalidad ng produkto na alam ko natin napakalaki po na maitutulo dun sa ating mga magiging beneficiaries and at the same time dun sa ating mga naging katuwang dito yung ating mga uh, partners, mga multinational companies na katuwang natin sa paglulugsad ng ito mga klase ng mga programa at proyekto kaya naman po nagpapasalamat kami ng napakarami sa pagtulong ninyo at kaisa namin kayo sa ganitong magandang layunin po ng FNRI. And at this juncture, let us all witness the journey of the USC FNRI yesterday, today, and beyond. Malnutrition, a multifaceted developmental challenge needing multi-sectoral collaboration. Up front, our fervent appeal to existing and future partners. Help us sustain our fight to help address malnutrition. Accompany us in our continuing journey to nutrition improvement that began almost 75 years ago. Did you know that in 1947, the Institute of Nutrition or IN, the forerunner of DOST FNRI, started with only eight personnel? The first few decades involved pioneering research and development and early initiatives on nutrition education and information campaigns, laboratory researches on nutritional requirements, as well as studies on basic and applied nutrition, nutrition standards, preferences, tools, and guides, early beginnings of food enrichment and fortification, such as the Bataan Rice Enrichment Experiment, the development of other food technologies, Nutrition Survey among personnel of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, the precursor of the provincial, regional, national, and now the expanded National Nutrition Survey or ENNS, and the Post-Nutrition Survey Conferences, which later became an annual tradition through the NNS and ENNS Dissemination Fora all over the country. It was also during these early decades that food and nutrition data were transformed into policy recommendations, and collaboration with local and international stakeholders were forged, sustained, and expanded. With the basics in place, the Institute soon embarked in comprehensive technology transfer. Accompanying this initiative was the intensified development and dissemination of nutrition information education, and communication materials. The turn of the century witnessed the start of DOST FNRI's shining moments to various awards and recognitions. Because during this time, the Institute gained milestone achievements and innovation and the conduct and scope of the nutrition surveys and intervention studies enriching out to policymakers 
in developing new and updated nutrition standards, reference tools, and guidance. By venturing into hallmark nutrition researches like nutritional genomics, responsive food technology research and development, and aggressive technology transfer. Acquiring, sustaining, and expanding its ISO accreditation. Upgrading its laboratory facilities and services. Boosting information and communication technology capabilities and services. Strengthening promotion and marketing reach by establishing mainstream media partners and harnessing the potentials of social media. Developing IEC packages in print, digital, and interactive formats in support of blended learning and online continuing nutrition education. Further developing its human resources, organizational management, and augmenting financial assets through partnerships. Organizing and actively sustaining the Employees Association. Establishing and elevating the status of its Institutional Ethics and Review Committee and being awarded the PQA Level 2. Indeed, the past seven and a half decades witnessed the Institute flourish in both human and financial resources. With this growth, partnerships with stakeholders also blossom. While we acquired additional support from partners through the decades, these are not enough to address the increasing demand to help improve the nutrition situation. In response, the DOST FNRI embarked on a new chapter of the journey. This is where our partnerships have taken us recently in this journey. In 2020, we have completed 31 research and development projects. Addressing nutritional problems. Food quality and safety studies. Developing and updating nutrition tools and standards. On nutrigenomics. Innovations in assessing and monitoring the nutritional status. Conducting in-depth and correlation studies on factors affecting nutrition. Publishing 14 scientific papers and presenting 64 technical papers at local and international journals and events. Filing of 21 trademarks, 24 utility models, and 23 copyrights at the Intellectual Property Office and the National Library. Signing of 59 technology licensing agreements for enhanced Nutribun. Disseminating outputs of R&D and s and services. Conducting the first virtual seminar series on completed food and nutrition researches and s and activities. The Virtual National Nutrition Summit on the 2019 Expanded National Nutrition Survey results. The virtual provincial dissemination of the 2019 ENNS results in 39 provinces and highly urbanized cities. Launching of Enhanced Nutribun and relaunching of the revitalized IFNRI, an integrated site for all our ICT-based information and services. The first virtual presser on the results of the VCO study among suspect and probable COVID-19 patients. Second virtual presser on the results of the Rapid Nutrition Assessment Survey. The first survey conducted via mobile devices and observance of health protocols and a testament to our commitment to regularly provide nutrition survey data even amidst the pandemic. As of September 2021, significant events were virtually conducted to continue updating stakeholders on R&D outputs and s and services. Our journey that continued despite the pandemic was rewarded with major awards and recognition.
In preparation for the future journey, we crafted an institutional roadmap to which we are fully committed and determined to track the current nutrition situation and challenges for our journey from 2022 to 2033 and beyond. Identified priority mega sectors. Laid out proactive strategies to address the nutritional needs of priority sectors. Earmark periodic targets and deliverables to attain our strategic milestones towards our ultimate destination of improved food security and nutrition status and contribute to the attainment of the global sustainable development goals. With your support over the past seven decades, we achieved this much. With your renewed additional and sustained support in our future journey, we are confident that we can do more. We cannot do it alone. We need your help. Journey with us towards a well-nourished and productive citizenry. Sa pagkakataon na ito, sa mga oras na ito, we already have 179 enhanced Nutribon adopters. Di ba? Napakalaki po ng uh, tulong ng ating mga adopters. And we are looking forward for more partners pa sa mga technology adopters na magiging katuwang po natin sa ating uh, mga programa, sa mga produkto pa na inilulusan po ng FNRI. Of course, at this point, we just want you to sit back, relax, and get inspired. In response to the persistent malnutrition problem, the UFC FNRI continuously encourages more adopters for the Malnutrition Reduction Program, or MRP, a science-based nutrition intervention strategy to help address the high prevalence of underweight for age among 6 to 35 months old Filipino children. Let us turn our focus on the screen as we witness the Malnutrition Reduction Program journey throughout the years. All we want for our children is to have the best quality of life, to provide our basic needs, offer the best education, so that our children will be knowledgeable and prepared. Ensure proper nutrition, good physical, mental, and emotional health. However, our children won't be able to reach their full potential if they are malnourished at the very beginning of their lives. Malnutrition continues to undermine the future potential of Filipino children. Our future. Did you know that 1 in 5 Filipino infants and young children 0 to 23 months old are stunted? Stunting, or low length or low height for age, is when a child has impaired growth and development due to poor nutrition. Its long-term effects include diminished cognitive and physical development, reduced productive capacity, and poor health. The first 1,000 days of life starts during conception up to the first two years of a child's life. It is the period when infants and young children undergo rapid growth and development but are also more susceptible to infections if they are undernourished. Any impaired physical and mental development during this critical phase is irreversible. This period is the window of opportunity when nutrition intervention is best provided. This crucial period is the best chance to help save our children from malnutrition and illnesses. In response, the DOST through the DOST FNRI crafted the Malnutrition Reduction Program, a science-based nutrition intervention strategy to help address the high prevalence of underweight for age among six months to below three years old Filipino infants and young children. The MRP has two components. First, the technology transfer. 
rollout of DOSD FNRI complementary food technologies, qualified entrepreneurs and organizations to their regions and provinces to help address the supply side of the program. This also generates livelihood and income for the food technology licensees, their workers, farmers, suppliers, as well as local government units and state universities and colleges. Second, the DOSD Pinoy, an intervention strategy which combines complementary feeding of DOSD FNRI developed complementary foods for infant and young children 6 months to below 3 years old for 120 feeding days and nutrition education among mothers and caregivers using DOSD FNRI developed modules on basic nutrition, safe pregnancy, breastfeeding, complementary feeding, food safety, meal planning, and vegetable gardening. MRP supports Sustainable Development Goals number 1, number 2, and number 17, Republic Act 11148, and UNICEF Framework for Action. In 2011, the MRP DOSD Pinoy was born and later rolled out to the regions. What has been achieved so far? Component 1 Technology Transfer 37 complementary food production facilities established and operating in 17 regions and 33 provinces in the country. Eight new upcoming facilities will be built in geographically isolated and disadvantaged areas including Sulu and Tawi Tawi. About 20 million meals for undernourished children using the DOSD FNRI developed complementary food branded as Mingo Meals by Negrense Volunteers for Change Foundation. As several complementary food production facilities nationwide produce and distributed baby food blends and snack foods to local communities for feeding program. Component 2. DOSD Pinoy Nutrition Intervention The nutrition advocacy and training activities of DOSD Pinoy covered 149 cities and municipalities in 57 provinces across the country. 6,225 local-level community workers were trained on nutrition education and 46 Sangguniang Bayan, Panlunsod Resolutions, or MOA on adoption of DOST Pinoy were approved and passed. The MRP received recognitions and produced journal publications. MRP is also included in the National Economic and Development Authority's National Priority Plan from 2015 to 2021. Behind these figures and recognitions, the MRP significantly improved the nutritional status of infants and young children participants. Improvement in the nutritional status was recorded among 15,824 infants and young children participants nationwide. In 2014, the municipality of Mercedes Camarines Norte had the highest number of malnourished infants and children 6 to 71 months old in the whole province of Camarines Norte. Sa dosing uh, bayan po ng Camarines Norte, kami po ang number one. Number one po sa malnourished. Maraming maraming salamat po sa DOST. Sila po pumunta sa amin, nagtyaga, nagturo, at mother class, at uh, in-introduce po yung rice mongo. At uh, sa ngayon po, in a matter of uh, four years, kami po ay number nine na. Kinkatarman, Northern Samar, 67.3% of undernourished children achieve normal weight and nutritional status after the implementation of complementary feeding program from 2015 to 2017. They are the ones who spearheaded the efforts to significantly reduce malnutrition from 11.1% in 2014 to 2.1% in 2017. This boy was a severely underweight toddler from Barangay Feles Malindad, Davao Occidental. 
when he was enrolled in the six-month nutrition program of the Grensev Volunteers for Change in 2015. He was malnourished, had rashes all over his body, with dry skin, almost bald, and could not walk. Six months later, his rashes were gone, his hair has grown, and he can walk already. He obtained a normal body weight. In 2018 to 2019, local monitoring data obtained from implementing MRP areas showed that the percentage of underweight infants and young children decreased from 65.2% in 2016 to 33.1% in 2018. Percentage of severely underweight infants and young children decreased from 14.6% in 2016 to 5.6% in 2018. Dito po sa Quezon Food and Herbal Processing Center, dito po natin ginagawa yung ating rice mango curls at rice mango blend. Sa tulong po ng mga pinamimigay po nating rice mango curls at nutri blend, napapababa po natin yung malnutrition sa probinsya. Ito pong ating rice mango curls at um, blend, ito po ay pinamamahagi natin sa buong probinsya ng libre. Katuwang po natin ang mga Municipal Nutrition Action Office ng bawat bayan. Isang mapagpalang umaga, maghapon sa inyo pong lahat. Ako si Sheila Santos mula sa Kutkot, Barangay Kutkot, Giginto, Bulacan. Ang aking anak ay naging kalahok ng Complementary Feeding Malnutrition Reduction Program. Noong siya ay isang taong gulang, taong 2020, pinakain siya ng food blends at mongo crunchies na ako po mismo ang may gawa. Para sa akin, uh, dapat po po ipagpatuloy ng MRP DOST Pinoy sa aming barangay dahil nasusolusyonan po niya yung, at nakakatulong po siya sa iba. Nakagaya ko rin po na isang mami na may anak na isang pihikan at sobrang kulang po talaga siya sa timbang. The results of the 2018 to 2019 Expanded National Nutrition Survey of DOST FNRI show that the percentage of children under 5 years old who are stunted decreased by 0.95% per year, wasting decreased by 0.35% per year, and overweight for height decreased to 0.01% per year. This data indicates that the current programs and collective efforts of various agencies to address malnutrition need to be sustained and advocated both at the national and local levels to continuously address the problem of malnutrition in the country. According to the United Nations Children's Fund in 2016, the Philippines loses $4.5 billion or 224 billion pesos yearly due to undernutrition. And for each $1 or about 49.75 pesos invested in the nutrition program, the Philippine economy will save $12 or about 500 97 pesos in forgotten earnings and health expenditures due to undernutrition. By estimates, the country needs around 6.5 billion pesos to help 3.64 million stunted children 6 months to 3 years old. One pack of complementary food at 15 pesos is needed per child daily. 54.6 million passes per day is needed to feed 3.64 million standard children for 120 feeding days. Currently, the DOSD FNRI can only cover 2.04% of this projected demand. Malnutrition is a multifaceted societal problem that confronts and threatens the current health status and future of young children. The DOSD FNRI believes that collective efforts and commitment from intersectoral linkages and partnerships is the best solution to address this problem. While they say that children are the hope and future of our country, their equal opportunity to have a shot for a healthy and good quality of life is our responsibility. The MRP is a science-based solution to malnutrition designed by food and nutrition researchers for the Filipino children. It needs more support. Your help 
is urgently needed now for our children, for their future. Ito ang alay mo para sa kinabukasan ng batang Pilipino. so far and encourage more collaborative commitments to attain the Sustainable Development Goals or SDG, particularly SDG 1, No Poverty, 2, Zero Hunger, and 17, Partnerships to Achieve the Goals. Joining us all the way from Pangasinan, Bacolod City, and Davao City are three UNC FNRI Technology licensees who will share their rich experiences as supporters and movers of the Malnutrition Reduction Program, or MRP. To give a short testimony, may I now call on first the President and Honor of Nutridens Food Manufacturing Corporation. Please welcome Mr. Rocky Doctor. The very captivating presentation of Ms. Joyce Topias and Ms. Wenny Lainez in one of the forums of the National Nutrition Survey in 2013 has convinced me to adopt the complementary food technologies of the USD FNRI. Little did I know that it was a start of a productive partnership with the USD FNRI and the birth of Nutridens Food Manufacturing Corporation corporate mission to partake in the reduction of malnutrition in the country. We first launched our Remo brand for the Rice Mongo technology in the ceremony attended by DOSD FNRI officials at our facility dedicated for complementary food production and the first in North Luzon, if not in the Philippines, in April 2013. Seven years now, being an active and serial adapter of DOSD technologies, we have put to market Remo Blend, Remo Curls, Micronutrient Growth Mix, Mamsi, Brown Rice Nutty Fruity Bar, Nutri-Dense Iron Fortified Rice, Iron Rice Premix, and the latest Nutri-Dense Enhanced nutri -Band to varied customers all over the country. To date, we have produced a number of quantities for each product and have supplied these products to government and non-government feeding programs. Cest program of DOST and various company CSR, which resulted to significant impact in the improvement of children's nutritional status in the country. Surviving the challenges of being an adapter were not easy, but the technology-based products and the very supportive family of DOST FNRI has made our journey manageable. Amid the pains, our joys and opportunities of being a committed DOST technology adapter. It opened up linkages with farmer groups who supplied our raw materials. The rare chance to collaborate with various agencies supporting nutrition advocacy. The opportunity to provide employment to more than 200 new and displaced workers and the significant growth the company has attained. We express our sincere gratitude to the USD led by Secretary De La Peña, who considered Nutridens Food Manufacturing Corporation part of the agency. FNRI family led by our retired director, Mario Capansana, and our current director, Dr. Emelda Depa, and our angel consultants and advisors for the inspiration and the assistance from our very start without reservation. Nutridens Food Manufacturing Corporation look forward that our 2022 will be another productive year with USD FNRI towards attainment of SDG, No Poverty, Zero Hunger, and committed partnership to reduce malnutrition. 
Mabuhay, DOSC FNRI. Are who actually with us today? Hi, sir. Thank you. Together with Mom Divine. Thank you, Mom and Sir. And at this point, the sunod naman po natin is Ms. Milagros Mili Kilaiko, the president of Negrense Volunteers for Change Foundation. Ten years ago, NVC Foundation had just been born. We were full of good intentions, but we had no direction, no scientific approach to good nutrition. And so we approached our DOST regional director, who challenged us. He said, are you serious? If you are serious about providing good nutrition, then you should focus on children, infants from six months old to three years old, which is the most important stage of a child's development. He introduced us to FNRI, who guided us towards the development of our rice mongo blend of complementary food. Together with FNRI, we branded Mingo, our blend of rice, mongo, and malunggay, which we later developed with more variants, which are chocolate, squash, and ube. We produce Mingo in our Bacolod-based manufacturing plant, and we source Mingo from small farmers, the indigenous, indigenous people who have now improved their earning and technical capability as we continue to purchase for them at fair trade prices. We produce Mingo in Bacolod, but its central location has allowed us to serve Mingo in Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Mingo had been present in emergency relief operations in Luzon up after the explosion of Mount Mayon and Mount Al, and even during the Cagayan Valley floods last year. Mingo was also present after the Bohol earthquake in the 2013 and after the Yula, Taipun Yolanda hit a lot of Isayas and even in our own province. Mingo was also present in the Marawi evacuation centers as well as after the Cotabato earthquakes. In the area of good nutrition, with an 87% to 91% success rate, close to 50,000 children have been enrolled in our Mingo Meals Nutrition Program, which involves a daily feeding of nutritionally compromised children six months daily. And so we have seen close to 50,000 children who were in the wasted or severely wasted category graduate to normal within the period of six months. Mingo has been served 19,791,374 times in 53 provinces across the Philippine archipelago. Today, I speak to you from a province that has been badly hit by Typhoon Odette. But a few hours after the eye of the storm passed through our province, Mingo was there in the areas we could easily reach because of its convenience, we were able to serve Mingo to thousands of hungry children. Two weeks ago, we served all these compromised families with packs of food that contained rice, groceries, water, and Mingo meals. And children who had been familiar with Mingo would grab Mingo from the packs. Seeing Mingo, the children would give them their best and widest smile. They loved Mingo beyond the packs of rice and canned goods. And so I ask you now to think and imagine in your mind the best and the biggest smile you've ever seen in your life. That is the kind of smile we see in children who reunite with Mingo even in the worst of times. This smile that you imagine is the tribute that we honor and thank you, DOST, with. Because this smile is the way that we can best pay you back with the children that we have served. Thank you so much, Ms. Mili Kilaiko of Negrense Volunteers for Change Foundation. Last but definitely not the least, may we hear from Ms. Mary Ann Baby Montemayor, the CEO of Villa Margarita Corporation, Villa Margarita Catering Services. Buhay Ugmadayao from Davao. I am Marian, 
Montemayor from the Villa Margarita Catering Services, one of the adopters recently certified by DOSD FNRI for the carrot and squash variants. We got our certification end of last year, end of November 2021, and the trainings we underwent gave us the opportunity to know some of the noble men and women behind the enhanced Nutribon technology. Our team salutes our trainers for their goodness, kindness, patience, and gracious tolerance of all the various requests and questions raised by the potential adopters. They never lost their composure and were readily available to assist everyone off and on the Zoom trainings. I personally admire the kind of culture pervading in the agency. It's all about the sincerity of helping and putting into perfect practice the unique technology of the enhanced Nutribun production. I even had to text Doc Mel to congratulate her team because I couldn't contain my admiration for the professionalism and efficiency of her team, not to mention the fact that they were very knowledgeable in all aspects of the training and were willing to go the extra mile. I also had to express my gratitude to Chairman Carlo Nograles for encouraging us to apply as a doctor. I had to tell him that being a part of the noble Zero Hunger Program gave us a deep sense of fulfillment. So after finishing our training and securing our certification, we were immensely blessed to be invited by an adopter mentor, John Reyes of Maan's Bakery, to partner with her and another friend adopter, Navales Foods, in a project for Nutribond supply to DepEd Region 12. I jumped at the rare opportunity because I knew that the newbie in me would be guided by senior adopters. I knew in my heart that we had a great partnership because we had a meeting of minds. Our ultimate objective was centered on ensuring that we provide quality and tasty enhanced nutri bonds. That was our December production that called for a lot of sacrifice and hard work from our production staff, considering that it was the height of the holiday season where we had several catering contracts. But our commitment to provide feeding to the intended beneficiaries became topmost in our hearts and minds. We considered it as our Christmas offering to the beneficiaries of Region 12 and went the extra mile by donating to slum dwellers and orphanages in Davao City. Fast forward to 2022. Our sacrifices in December were rewarded by a new contract. Our partnership is currently working on supplying the needs of Region 11 and we're gratified to see the joy of our employees, suppliers, and farmers who benefit from the program. It's a whole value chain that shares the hope and joy of everything that we do. This is classic unity at work. But yes, there are challenges along the way. But the difficulties we encounter far outweigh the sense of fulfillment that goes beyond the profit. It's knowing and acknowledging the special grace that has been poured out upon us. And the least that we can do is to give back with unconditional service, praise, and thanksgiving. Salamat po 
DOSD, FNRI, and other partner agencies for the opportunity to give of ourselves and embrace your tagline, which says, Alay mo, kinabukasan ko. Maayong buntag kaninyong tanan. God bless everyone. So much, Ms. Mary Ann Montemayor of Ilya Margarita Corporation. And uh, we are really glad to have you all as our partners. And honestly, we cannot continue this endeavor without your help. Kaya naman po, ang aming tapos puso at lubos na pasasalamat po sa inyo. And at this point, gusto ko muna po yung knowledge of presence ni Ms. Pinky Gonzalez. Saan si Ms. Pinky Gonzalez? Hi, ma'am, from Nestle. Magandang araw po sa inyo, ma'am. Okay, so let's proceed to the next part of our program. Let us now hear a message of support coming from uh, DOH Assistant Secretary and National Nutrition Council Executive Director. Let us all welcome Dr. Azucena Dayangira. This is my first time to attend a face-to-face -face event. Salamat to DOSTF and RI. At nagkalakas loob na ako. I can now remove my mask. Sa gaya ng sabi ni Secretary Boy, <laughs> ang anak daw niya nagsabi na magpa-swap test or RT-PCR. But fortunately, my daughter, sabi nga sa akin, sure ka, mag-face-to-face -face ka na. <laughs> but here I am, so thank you. So my courtesy is to Secretary Boy de la Peña of the West FNRI, to my friend, uh, Yusek Gibbs, Rena Ibarra, and of course to my friend and partner, our TechCom Chair of the NNC Governing uh, Board, or TechCom of the NNC, Dr. Mel Abnepa. Nag-chat ka pala. Sorry ha, na-scam, or na, na, ano daw yan? Na-hack yung aking Facebook. So, hindi ako nakapag-friend agad request sa iyo, ma'am. And then to Dr. Anthony Calibo, do? Kapitbahay ko siya dati sa, ay, magkasama ko siya dati sa DOH, but ngayon, dito ka pa rin, mayroon pa rin tayo, di ba? And of course, to uh, former director of FNRI, Dr. Mario Capanzana, maraming salamat na kita ulit tayo, no? And then to, to the rest of you, our stakeholders in nutrition, Good morning, maayong buntag ka ninyong tanan. Well, um, definitely NSC is one with DOSD FNRI in your quest for solidifying intersectoral partnership to reduce malnutrition in the country. NSC, as the highest policy-making body and coordinating body on nutrition, isa po kami sa talaga sa two-sphere nutrition partnership. In fact, we just submitted to NEDA our top three priorities for the economic administration and, of course, walang tatapos ng reduction of all forms of malnutrition on the top of our mind. But we can only do this by enhancing our partnerships with you all. And to start with, our Tuto Kainan or the Dietary Supplementation Program has already procured 1,780,000 pieces of Nutribun. Ah, nandito yung si Nutribuns, no? So, isa kami sa mga <laughs> customer at napag, siguro kami yung nakapagbigay ng yung poste ng inyong planta. <laughs> Joke lang yung po, sir. And then, um, sa mga rice mongo blend, kanina narinig ko yung ni Glense. Meron po kaming PR sa kanila, hindi ko na lang sasabihin kasi baka makatinig tayo ng PIR. <laughs> and at the same time, uh, we are still having this PR because we are continuing with our phase 3 and phase 5. So, take note, Nutridence, just look at our website for the field jobs. So, if you are still interested and you are willing to deliver on time, no? The quality nutri ban, so no problem with me. Okay? So, bakit ba nilagay namin ang tutukainan? Because during pre-pandemic, tinawag kami sa office ni Senator Amy Marcos. Tinanong niya kami, 
ako, nandiyan yung DOST, as in our area, nandiyan yung DSWD, nandiyan yung DepEd, nandiyan yung DOH, at ako. At isa lang ang tanong, bakit hindi pa rin nasusol ang malnutrisyon? At sino ang in-charge sa mga bata less than 5 years old in terms of food? Pagbibigay ng food to address hunger and ultimately malnutrition. Wala pong makasagot, especially in the first 1,000 days, meaning from the pregnancy state up to 2 years old ng bata. There is no one national agency who is responsible to provide for food allocation to children and pregnant women, children under two years old. So right there and there, because of the advent of the, the passage I mean of RA 11148, and with the mandate of the National Nutrition Council to formulate and to design programs and projects and guidelines as inscribed in the PIPAN, or the Philippine Plan of Action for Nutrition, is specifically the National Dietary Supplementation Program. Lo and behold, the NSC Secretariat developed this tutok kainan with the Office of the Cabinet Secretariat, Capset Morales, because he is our nutrition champion. So, nagkaroon po ng launching at kaya nabuhay ulit yung Nutribad. Mabuhay ang Nutribad. Huh? So with DOST FNRI, Ma'am Imelda, talagang continuously we will work this out in 2022 and beyond because Philippines is one of the signatories of the UN the Decade of Action for Nutrition as well as contributory to the attainment of sustainable development goals number two. That is zero hunger, improved nutrition, and sustainable agriculture. With that, continuously with the sun movement, the scaling up nutrition movement, as the country's focal point, yours truly, I am again telling everyone here, as our partners in nutrition reduction, malnutrition reduction, to continuously and join us in our crusade to reach zero hunger and reduce all forms of malnutrition. Maraming salamat and mabuhay ang FNRI DOST and nandito po tayong lahat with one mind, one heart, one spirit sa pat na nutrition, sa pat na nutrition para sa lahat. Maraming salamat. U.S. Secretary for the Matter to the Planet. Our friends from uh, NERA, NNC, of course, Dr. Dayanira, from DBM, Ma'am Lea, Ma'am Jessica, and Ma'am Nicole, Dr. Mel, Deputy Anthony, Mr. Rocky Doctor, uh, and Mrs. Uh, my friend. Ma'am um, Amelia Kilaiko, Ms. Mary Ann Lady Montemayor, and uh, our partners who are here with us, and who are also on Zoom, magandang at hampo sa ating lahat. Kailangan po namin ng partners hindi lang po sa gobyerno, pati po sa pag-private sector. Dahil ito pong problema natin na 3.64 million children ay hindi po biro. That is about 3% of the country's population. But more importantly, yan po ang future ng ating bansa. Hindi naging madali ang pagsasagawa ng mga proyekto at programa sa nakaraang taon dahil sa pandemya ang ating nararanasan. Ngunit hindi ito naging hadlang para magpatuloy sa ating mga adikain, lalo na sa pananaliksik, para matugunan ang pangangailangan sa repression. Pasalamatan natin ang Food and Nutrition Research Institute, DOSTFNRI, sa kanilang mga naging accomplishments nitong nakadaang taon. Nagdarama natin ang presensya ng DOST FNRI sa mga pananaliksik at pagsasagawa ng mga programa para tulungang malutas ang malnutrition. Sila lang po ang DOST agency na marinig mo sa TV, sabi ng isang sikat na artista, ayon sa DOST FNRI. Sila lang po yan. Talakpakan po natin. 
Ang ride sa kanilang adikain, ang food and nutrition R&D program, na nagbigay sa atin ng enhanced nutribon. Lahat kayo mamaya may bigbig na enhanced nutribon. Bilang tugon sa pangangailangan ng mga bata. Nakatutulong ito sa ibang kagawaran para sa mga feeding programs, katulad ng school-based feeding program ng Department of Education, supplementary feeding program ng Department of Social Work and Development, at tutok kainan ng National Nutrition Council. Kaya hindi na pag-aawa sa virgin coconut oil bilang supplement sa mga pasyente may mild COVID-19. Ayon sa naturong pag-aawa, ang VCO na hinalo sa pagkain ng mga suspect at probable cases ng COVID-19 doon sa Santa Rosa noong 2020 ay nagbusa resulta sa hindi paglala ng kanilang mga sintomas na nakatulong, nakatulong sa kanilang tuluyang pagkaling. Ganun din ang nangyari nung ginawa nila itong eksperimentong ito sa LGU ng Valenzuela. Ang ikatlo ay ang kanilang Nutrition Assessment and Monitoring Program. Isinagawa ng DOSTFNRI ang Nutrition Summit 2021, isang online dissemination forum upang ikulat ang mga resulta ng 2019 ENNS or Expanded National Nutrition Survey noong May 2020. Ang naturang mga resulta ay uko sa dietary intake, vitamin A at iodine status at iodine content ng asin sa mga kabahayat bago ang pandemya. Ang mga nabanggit na datos ay mahalagang informasyon na bagay sa siyensya na ginagamit na batayan ng mga polisiya at programang pangkaunlaran ng mga kagawaran na papatutan nito. Gusto ko lang banggitin na ang ENMS ay bukas po sa mga data scientists na gustong magmina ng informasyon para po mas mapalaganap natin ang mga posibleng solusyon sa problema natin upo sa nutrisyon. Ngayon din ang Third Congress Legislative Forum na binagsagang Project PR to PR or Project Results to Policy Recommendations na may temang RESPOND na isinigawa virtually noong June 2021. Ito ay isang pamumaraan ng DOSCRI upang makahimok ng suporta mula sa mga mambabatas sa paggawa ng mga lehislaturang may kaugnayan sa pagkain at nutrisyon na hango sa adham at teknolohiya. Ang ikaapat, ang Food and Nutrition Technology and Knowledge Diffusion Program. Bahagi nito ay ang patuloy na pagsasagawa ng mga webinars ubo sa pagkain at nutrisyon, kalagayan pang nutrisyon ng bansa, mga food technologies, pagpapanatiling malusog, pagsasabuhay ng kalinisan sa pagkain, lalo na sa now normal at mga technology transfer at commercialization ng iba pang DOST FRI technologies. Alam niyo po, dahil sa gera ng Ukraine at sa Russia, tumaas po ang presyo ng trigo. Ang DOST po ay dali-dali nag-respond dahil sa ating sector po ay ilabas na na. So yung kong DOST ITDI, o Industrial Technology Development Institute, ay nag-develop po ng karami-raming mga alternative to wheel or trigo, katulad po ng kasaba, amote, um, banana, sorb sweet sorghum, mungo, at iba pa. At next week po, magpapalabas po itong DOST ITDI ng cooking show or manufacturing show Paano gawin itong mga arena na ito? At sa susunod na linggo naman, so next next week, ang DOSTFNRI naman, syempre hindi siya magpapatalo. Magpapakita po siya ng iba't ibang klase ng mga produkto, cookies, uh, pasta, uh, cake, at saka breads, at iba't iba pa. Ipapakita po nilang lahat. Parang cooking show din po. Kaya advance nilang sasabihin, ito yung mga ingredients, sabay-sabay tayong magluto. Ilang, ilang, ilang araw po yan na magpapakitang gilas itong dalawang ito na may solusyon po gamit ang agham at teknolohiya sa problema ng pagtaas ng presyo ng trigo. Pero syempre, ako po may iba naman po akong adikain. This is an opportunity for us to maybe capture the market using local raw materials. Panahon na para gamitin natin yung sariling atin. At hindi lang po yun. Pag ginamit nyo po itong mga binanggit ko ng mga ingredients, sila po ay functional food. Nakakatulong sa mga may hypertension. Nakakatulong sa nahihirapang dumumi kasi may, may fiber. 
So, itong mga bagay na to, wala po ito dun sa normal na trigo na ginagamit natin. So, tangkilikin niyo po itong mga technologies na ito. Sa mga sumusunod na araw, ipapakita namin yan. At syempre po, hindi naman po pwedeng DOS yung gagawa niyan. Kasama po namin ang Department of Agriculture at saka Department of Trade and Industry. Tuloy ko po ang aking kwento. Pumigit kami lang sa 176 licenses sa buong bansa ang gumagawa at nagbebenta ng DOS, DFNRI developed food technologies tulad ng Ino Chuban at Complementary Foods. Dahil sa pagsisikap ng DOS, DFNRI, nakatanggap sila ng iba't ibang pagkilala at sertifikasyon tulad ng 2021 Alberto G. Romualdez Outstanding Health Research Award o Aurora Health Services Research Category noong August 2021 sa Philippine National Health Research System Category. Tapos nung meron din po silang Nutritional Genomics Laboratory, PNS ISO IEC 7025, 2017 Biological Testing, Philippine Accreditation Bureau noong July 2021. The first in the country po yan. Pangatlo po, Level 3 Research Ethics Committee, Philippine Health Research Ethics Board of FREB, 14th PNHRS Week noong August 2021. Tapos syempre, ito pinagyayabang talaga nila. Level 2, sa kanilang Proficiency in Quality Management sa 23rd Philippine Quality Award Assessment Cycle in the Consensus Review of the Written Application. At panghuli po, the Institute, ito po sobrang yabang talaga, with the highest number of utility model awardees 2017 to 2021. Sa aming pampaniniwala sa DOST, hindi po tapos ang research kapag hindi mo na i-transfer yung technology na yan. At malaman nyo naman po, hitik na hitik sa pagtatransfer ng technology itong DOST FNRI. Isang pagpupugay para sa mga kawani ng DOST FNRI bilang pagkilala sa pagsusumikap, husay at dedikasyon sa serbisyong publiko. Patayuin nga natin yung mga tag-DOST FNRI dito. Palakpakan natin sila. Tayo, tayo! Doc Mar, tumayo ka din. Palakpakan po natin sila. Sa patuloy na paglilingkod ng DOSC FNRI, ang Malnutrition Reduction Program na may dalawang components na technology transfer at package for the improvement of nutrition of young children or DOSC Pinoy ay kanilang ipinagpapatuloy at inihahandog para tuluyong labanan ang malnutrition sa ating bansa. Sa ngayon, may 33 complementary food processing facilities na sa 17 rehiyon at 33 provinces sa buong bansa. May walong bagong mga pasilidad sa geographically isolated and disadvantaged areas na kasalukuyang itinatayo. Sa kabilang na dito po ang sulo at sa katawi-tawi. Malaking bilang ng complementary food processing facility sa buong bansa ang nagsusupply ng food blends at snack foods na gawa sa bigas at munggo para sa mga local community feeding programs bilang ambag upang maibsan ang epekto ng pandemya sa nutrisyon, kalusugan at kabuhayan. Dahil sa mga inisyatibong ito, ang MRP ay kabilang sa prioridad na programa ng pamahalaan na nakasaad sa NEDA National Priority Plan. Ito po kasing si Dr. Mel Mahiyain po yan. Ako po makapalamok ako. Dahil hindi po para sa akin ito, para po sa bansa ito. Para po masob natin yung problema ng 3.64 million Filipino children, kailangan po ng whole of society approach. Kayo pong mga nandirito, mamaya hihingan po namin kayo ng commitment na tumulong po dito sa programa ng MRP or Malnutrition Reduction Program. Sabi nga ni Secboy at saka ni Dr. Mel, nakasama po yan sa National Priority Plan. Kapag ka nag-donate ka dito sa programa ng MRP, 100% tax deductible po yan. Kung kunyari ay eh, 120 children ang sinama mo at may presyo na sasabihin sa yung FNRI dyan, yung amount na yan pwede mong i-deduct sa babayaran ni tax. May usapan na po sila with the BIR. Ang problema po, 2% lang po na address ng mga ginagawa ng DOST. Yung 3.64 million, 
2% po nun, sobrang liit po talaga. Hindi po talaga kaya ng gobyerno ito. Total, may mga corporate social responsibility naman po kayo. Maigi po sana na imbis na kayo pa yung mag-isip po ano yung gagawin. Ito po, nakapackage na po yung malnutrition reduction program ng FNRI. Ang kailangan lang po nila ay pondo. Nung nag-compute kami, kasi sabi nila sa akin, 1,000 pesos ang kailangan mo for the 120-day uh, intervention on malnutrition per child. So that is 3.6 billion pesos. I'm sure hindi ganun kahirap erase yung ganun amount pag marami ang nakakaalan. So bukod po sa hihingan namin kayo ng commitment na mag-donate dito po, sana po yung mga kaibigan ninyo na equally mababait at may ang puso ay sana po kumbinsihin ninyo na mag-donate po dito sa Malnutrition Reduction Program. Ito pong 3.64 million, pag po tama ang nutrition nila, magiging matatalinong adults po yan at magiging productive adults sila at itataas nila ang antas ng buhay ng mga Pilipino. Sana po kilalanin ninyo ang Malnutrition Reduction Program bilang flagship corporate social responsibility ninyo sa mga darating na taon. Hindi po kaya ito ng isang beses lang po. It takes an entire generation or about 20 years para ma-wipe out mo talaga yung malnutrition. Mahiyain po si Dr. Mel kaya hindi po niya sinasabi sa inyo na hinihingan po niya kayo ng commitment to donate. Kaya ako na po ang nagsasabi sa inyo. Alam niyo po, ang FNRI ay partner ninyo, hindi lamang po dito sa Malnutrition Reduction Program. Yung po mga bagong teknolohiya para maging competitive po ang food industry natin ay binabanatan din po ng FNRI. Uh, sila po ay may mga bagong technologies na hindi po namin binanggit today pero sana po sa mga darating na araw ay kausapin niyo po sila. Hindi man magiging madali ang mga susunod na hakbang dulot ng kasalukuyang pandemya, Maging hamon na wa ito para lalo pa nating pagsumikapan at pagbutihin ng ating mga ginagawa, hindi lamang para sa kapanan ng ilan, ngunit para sa kapakinabangan ng nakararami at mas nangangailangan. Makibahagi tayo sa mabuting layunin at umaasa kami sa inyong pagtugon. Tumulong tayo na sugpuin ang kahirapan, labanan ng nutrisyon at lutasin ang kagutuman. Bago ako matapos, Nais kong ipabatid muli ang aking pagbati at tubos na pasasalamat sa DOSC FNRI sa kanilang pagsusumikap na mag-develop at patuloy sa paglutas ng iba pang mga teknolohiya para tugunan ang malnutrition at makatulong sa iba't ibang sektor ng lipunan. Gayun din, hinihikayat ko kayong suportahan ang mga programa ng DOSC FNRI, lalo na po ang Malnutrition Reduction Program. Patuloy nawa nating suportahan ang mga programa ito at iba pang ahensya ng pamahalaan para na rin sa ikauunlad ng ating salin lahi at minamahal na bansa. Maraming salamat, patuloy po tayong mag-ingat at magandang agham po sa ating lahat. Maraming maraming salamat po, Yusik Gev. And now let us all unleash the potential of our Filipino children and provide them the opportunity for a better quality life and eventually be productive members of our society. And to lead the pleasures of commitment, may we invite again on stage Yusik Cristina, uh, Ruena Cristina Al Guevara. Good morning once again, especially to our partners and stakeholders. The audiovisual presentations that we have seen earlier showcase the DOSC FNRI's significant accomplishments for the past years. As we have witnessed, despite the malnutrition reduction program's significant achievements, more support is needed from various sectors to continue and expand the journey in alleviating malnutrition among children and give them the well-deserved opportunity to have healthier, more productive, and enjoyable lives. It is well accepted that addressing malnutrition requires sustained contributions from many stakeholders across many sectors. Coherent action across a range of fronts is needed. We believe that successful partnerships are dedicated to achieving common goals, that is, with all members of a partnership working toward the same end. 
to end hunger, achieve food security, and improve nutrition among our kids in accordance with our commitment to the Sustainable Development Goals or SDGs. This is part of the reason why we are here today. By being here physically and virtually, you manifest being one with the OSTF and RI in this cause. We are now in the most important segment of the program where we will humbly solicit your support to DOST FNRI's Malnutrition Reduction Program. We present the MRP DOST Pinoy packages. There are four packages of sponsorships to consider. Each package has a corresponding number of infants and young children ages six months to two years old who will benefit from 120 days of complementary feeding of DOST FNRI developed complementary foods. You may choose from any of the following areas flashed on the screen where the complementary feeding program will be conducted. These are selected areas for the conduct of complementary feeding intervention where the MRP DOST Pinoy was introduced and capacity building among community workers was conducted. Meanwhile, those who want to sponsor the equipment needed to build complementary food processing facilities may opt to choose package number four. The new facility will produce the Rice Mongo Instant Blend and Rice Mongo Curls technologies of the OSCF and RI. Sponsors may choose from the following areas flash on the screen where you want the facility to be built. These areas were identified by the National Economic Development Authority, National Priority Plan, and the Philippine Plan of Action for Nutrition, or PPAN, where the prevalence of malnutrition among Filipino children is high. Other support may be in the form of the following. A land where a complementary food processing facility may be built, an existing building that can be converted into a complementary food processing facility, and vehicles. We are now asking our partners to be one of the OSTF and RI's partners in the fight against malnutrition. Please signify your commitment and support by completing our puzzle on stage. By adding a piece to the puzzle, we'll be able to complete the image of a healthy child. This symbolizes the partnership between the OSTF and RI and your companies and institutions in helping attain our shared goal of helping end malnutrition among our kids through proper complementary feeding. May we hear from our friends from Robinson Supermarket who are joining us via Zoom. Hi, good afternoon again. I'm um, sorry for the technical difficulty. So um, I'm Aja Tatanes from Robinson Supermarket and we are very, uh, congratulations also to DOSD FNRI for this year and a uh, year starter program and also for launching this MRT program, MRP program. And we just wanted to assure them our continued support. Um, this is something that's very aligned with our uh, vision and mission and Robinson Supermarket in creating a healthier and better Philippines. So thank you for inviting us and more power to the DOST FNRI. Thank you so much from Robinson Supermarket. Next we have from Nestle. Palakpakan po natin mga kaibigan. Good morning, ma'am. We have Attorney Olive from Nestle. Hi, Secretary. Let us hear a few messages from Nestle, ma'am. 
Yes, as the kasambuhay ng Pamilyang Pilipino, we are really very honored and privileged to be part of this initiative, very noble initiative to reduce malnutrition of the Filipino children. Yeah. Thank you so much, DOST, FNRI, for inviting us to participate. Next we have is from San Miguel. To be represented by Mama Del and Iris. Ayan. So as a company, San Miguel, we also have our own program that seeks to prevent malnutrition among children. This is under our umbrella CSR program uh, called Handog under the Kalusugan Pillar. We have four other pillars, namely Kabuhayan, Karunungan, Kalikasan, and Komunidad. Our Handog Kalusugan program is in line with the country's first 1,000 days law which seeks to pro expand the country's nutrition and health program for the first 1,000 days for the first three years of life of a child's life. So in 2021, San Miguel Foods recently completed its own 1,000 days health and nutrition in intervention program entitled Happy Si Mami, Malusog Si Baby. So yeah, but in support of this initial initiative, we will also sponsor uh, in line with San Miguel's support to the OST. Yeah. Mama Iris, thank you. Maraming salamat po. Okay. So now tawagin naman po natin ang representative ng CDO Food Sphere. Ma'am Ella and Sir Jonathan. I sir Harvard. Hi, sir. Hello, good morning po. On behalf po ng aming foundation, Odyssey Foundation, and our mother company po, CD of Food Sphere, nagpapasalamat po kami na naging bahagi po ng ating pagtitipon ngayong umaga. Ang CD of Food Sphere po ay ang um, mother company po ng Odyssey Foundation. Matagal na po kami may feeding program. Actually, nakikita ko nga po si Dr. Azucena dati sa NNC. Ayun po, ayun, mga familiar faces na rin po. So, Yun po, bilang food company, nutrition po talaga yung aming tinatarget. So, yun po, kasali rin po kami sa Sun Movement. So, matibay po ang aming paninindigan na makasama po sa mga ganitong inisyatiba po. Uh, sa nakalipas pong taon, nakapag-feeding program po kami ng Nutriban. Kaka-launch lang din po, ka newly adapter po kami ng Enhanced Nutriban po. So, nga, na, ang una po namin naging beneficiary ay sa Talisay po, saka sa Laurel, Batangas. Ayun po, nagpunta po kami with Dr. Agdepa and Secretary rin po. Uh, sana, looking forward po kami sa marami pa pong partnership with DOST, FNRI, and sa lahat po na ating mga kasamahan po na nagtataguid po ng nutrition po para sa ating mga kabataan po. Maraming maraming salamat po. Thank you so much ma'am and sir. Uh, sir, yan si Ma'am Ella and Sir Harvard. Next naman po, the president of NutriDance Food Manufacturing Corporation, Sir Rocky Doctor. And uh, Mom Divine Doctor.
Nutrigrain's Food Manufacturing Corporation remains to be committed in the production of MRP products. Uh, <clears throat> marami po yung naging uh, inspirasyon namin dito at yung mga tumatabang bata ng DSWD, DEPED, mm -hmm. and more. Thank you so much for being part of the show. Thank you. Hindi. <laughs> Sa ang sabi ko po, bigyan niyo ako ng <laughs> Ang sabi ko bigyan niyo ako ng dalawang part noon because my first part is a package for Tanudan Kalinga where I came from. <laughs> Number two, it's another package for any prob or any town in Region 1 where I came from. <laughs> Gusto niyo po tatlo, sir? <laughs> Pwede naman. <laughs> uh, dalawang package. Uh, picture lang muna, sir, hawak yung puzzle sa gitna po, sir. Gitna ka, sir. Rocky. Pwede mo na yung piece. Picture. Commitment po yan. Thank you so much. Ayan. Maraming maraming salamat po. Ayan, meron na tayong anim na pieces na naikakabit sa ating puzzle. Unti-unti na po nabubuo yung ating larawan. Ayan. Ma'am Ma Divine, thank you so much. Yeah, talaga kung ano, kakampi natin ng NutriDense and syempre yung other partners natin dito. Thank you so much. Sir Rocky, thank you. Okay, sunod na, sunod na po natin mga kaibigan. Ang honor naman po ng Nutrition and Beyond Corporation, Sir George Aguilar. Nutrition and Beyond will always support uh, DOST FNRI kahit anong endeavor niyo po at lalong-lalong uh, -lalo niyo po sa inyong lahat sa mga tulong na ginawa po sa, sa amin po ng, uh, ng FNRI, uh, DOST FNRI. Maraming salamat po sa inyo. Thank you so much, Sir George. Next we have from Amway, Ma'am Owen. Hello, um, we are Amway um, uh, commit to support uh, DOSD FNRI with their MRP uh, project and also we have uh, another project with them which is the Garna Soup. 
And um, this is very aligned with our own CSR program, which is the Power of Five Feeding Program, uh, which aims to address um, malnutrition, childhood malnutrition uh, around the world. Um, thank you, DOS, the FNRI, uh, for the partnership and mabuhay po kayo. Thank you so much, Ma'am Owen Rea from Amway. Okay, so Sir Ma'am, ilan na lang ba tayo? One, two, meron na lang po kaming apat na, <laughs> na pieces. Baka po merong gusto mag-volunteer, ay malugod po namin tatanggapin. Anyone? Opo. To be continued, ayan. Siyempre, gusto ko na kasi makita, ma'am, kung sino nga ba itong batang ito, di ba? Kailangan ma-reveal natin eh, yung mukha ng bata na naandito. Baka po may nga nahihiya lang din kayo, katulad ni ni mama, ni Dr. Agdepa, mahihain po siya, di ba? Ma'am, <laughs> baka naman. <laughs> ayan, alright. <laughs> so coming from Dr. Agdepa, yung ating pang na piraso ng puzzle. Meron na lang pong tatlong natitira. Yan, picture muna you sig give. Ayan, picture picture ma'am. Palakpakan naman po natin mga kaibigan. Finally, na-reveal na po ang mukha ng batang ito. At uh, for your information, ang cute na cute ng batang po ito ay apo ni Ma'am Divine and Sir Rocky Doctor. ba? Diba? Kitang-kita ang pinagmanahan. Once again, maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat na nagbigay ng kanilang pledges. Thank you so much, Yusik Gev. Secretary, maraming salamat po. Dr. Agdepa, thank you, sir. Thank you so much for supporting a part of the image of a healthy child. This symbolizes your commitment to support the OSCFNRI's malnutrition reduction program. Many Filipino children will benefit from these commitments and pledges. Rest assured that we will use these resources to ensure that Filipino children will attain optimum nutrition, better health, and will have a fighting chance in facing challenges and opportunities in life. The project team of the OSCF and our ICE Malnutrition Reduction Program is here today, and we will discuss with you later during lunch the details of how we will further formalize the partnership. Marami pong salamat sa inyong mga alay at ambag para sa kinabukasan ng ating mga batang Pinoy. Magandang agham po sa ating lahat. Once again, maraming maraming salamat, Yusik Gev. Ayan. So mga kaibigan, nakita po natin buo na yung puzzle. Pero uh, mas maganda kung mas marami rin po yung mga gusto pang tumulong at para dun po sa mga uh, nais pa na magbigay ng kanila mga donasyon, mga tulong para, mo, para po mas maging uh, uh, magkaroon ng kasagatuparan itong proyekto na ito, yung paglulunsad po natin ng ating uh, programa ngayon na, na alay ko, kinabukasan kasan mo ay uh, maging maganda po ang uh, maging bunga. So for any inquiries po, makipag-ugnay lang mong po kayo sa DOSC FNRI at malugod po nilang tatanggapin anumang tulong po ang nais nating ipabon. And now let us all conclude this event with the closing remarks from the DOSC FNRI Deputy Director Dr. Anthony P. Calibo. Ang tanghali po sa ating lahat. Courtesy greetings to our USC Secretary, Secretary Dr. Alamanya, to our Undersecretary, Dr. Morena Christina Guevara, 
to the mother of the FMI, our our director for the science school, uh, Dr. Mia Tatiana, our former director, Dr. Mario Facansana, colleagues uh, from uh, other government agencies, uh, Asak Ayanghiran from UH, representatives from Black Ed, uh, School Health Division, uh, also from the Department of Budget and Management, uh, the National Economic Development Authority, uh, representatives from the private sector, uh, and of course, uh, to our different technology uh, adopters who have also made a uh, significant contribution and commitments uh, to our malnutrition reduction program. Isang makagham na tanghali po sa ating lahat. Ang agham ang isa sa mga pangunahing susi sa maunlad ng kinabukasan. Do you agree with this statement? Yes, napat kasi ang ito ay nasa DOST, mga nalit sa Secretary Paul. Ito din po ang ating tinataguyot na layunin, ang science for the people. Science is a cornerstone in the development and conduct of appropriate, relevant, and timely nutrition programs and researches. It is through science that we can find innovative solutions to problems such as hunger, food insecurity, and all forms of malnutrition, which can help lead to a better future. This morning, we witnessed the milestone programs and projects of the DOSD Food and Nutrition Research Institute in 2021. We also had the glimpse of what the USD FNRI has in store in the coming years. We assure you that we will continually develop intervention models and programs to help achieve the Institute's vision of optimal nutrition for all Filipinos. And I believe that we are not alone in this vision. Yes, we can say that we have made progress towards this vision. But it is not enough. We have a long road ahead of us. Effective implementation of these programs requires partnership and efforts from different stakeholders, such as concerned government agencies, academia, private sector, non-government organizations, international organizations, and even professional organizations. Your presence here today means that you share with us the same advocacy that a multi-sectoral approach is needed to solve the country's malnutrition problems. It's also emphasized by our Undersecretary the Public-Private Partnership Approach, or PPP. I hope that we are able to inspire you and open doors on how you can help these programs. We are also counting on your assistance in spreading the word in achieving good nutrition, which is our shared vision. My warmest gratitude to all of you for attending this event. We don't know how happy we are to see all of you after almost two years of virtual events. Allow me to also thank our partners, both from the private sector and public sectors, our colleagues from government, Thank you for believing in optimal nutrition as an important pillar in nation building and economic development. May you continue to support nutrition related programs throughout the country. I would also like to thank the entire DOSD system for supporting our programs. To the DOSD Central Office Management, thank you for always recognizing the nutrition programs are integral part of the department's vision as a provider of world-class scientific, technological, and innovative solutions that will lead to higher productivity and better quality of life. A big gratitude also to the DOSD regional offices, the Ministry of Science and Technology, Pangsa Moro, Autonomous Region for Muslim Mindanao, together with the DOSD Provincial Science and Technology Centers for helping us reach Filipinos in the countryside. 
Let me also thank the hardworking officials, the members of the management committee of the DOSD Food and Nutrition Research Institute, who are also here with us, the different research specialists, and other employees of the DOSD FMRI. We thank all of you for contributing to where the FMRI is right now. We have proven that no pandemic can stop us in performing our duties for our countrymen. And as we continue working for 2022, we pray that this event ushers new hope and new beginnings for everyone here. We are now on alert level one. I'm thankful that we continue to pop for the whole remaining period of March, and we pray that this continues. And I think it is a reckoning period for the whole of society that we also need to take care of nutrition interventions for our countrymen, especially infants and young children. I believe that this is a good start to renew our commitment to end hunger and fight malnutrition. Mukhang kailangan po din natin tukunan maliban po sa pagbabakuna ay kailangan din po ang pagpapakain at pagsusustain ng tamang nutrition ng ating pong mga kababayan. I am confident that all of you will be with us in our endeavors to end hunger and fight malnutrition in the country and also to achieve the Philippine Plan of Action Nutrition Targets. Each one of us has something to offer no matter how small it is. Together, these small steps can make a big difference in the lives of the Filipino people. Muli po isang taos pusong pasasalaman sa pagsama sa atin sa umamang ito. Umaasa po kami na hindi po ito ang ating puling pagkikita. Marami pa pong proyektong gagawin para sa sambayan ng Pilipino. Ang inyong alay o ay mahalaga sa kinabukasan ng ating kapataan at mga kababayang Pilipino. Sa munting tinig ng isang batang Pilipino, ang alay mo ay kinabukasan ko. Maraming salamat Patuloy po tayong mag-ingat at muli isang maakang makaagham na tanghali sa ating lahat. Sana po yung maging ligtas po tayo, mabuhay po ang DOST, mabuhay po ang DOST FMRI. Maraming salamat.